Hello, welcome to another Patio Time with Patrick. Today I'm joined by Dave and Danny, uh, local theater artists, as well as a whole bunch more. So first we'll, we'll say cheers. Absolutely. Uh, and yes, my oh. beer is unknown because I'm still waiting for microbrewery to, you know, get into us. Now oh, you're waiting for sponsorship. Uh, yes, that's a good way. Yeah. Um, so no, I know you guys have been doing theater for quite a long time, but you've been doing a whole lot more. So I'll start with Danny. Okay. You've been musical inclined since the little tiny little thing. Yeah, yeah pretty much. much same. <laughs> and you do music, you do singing, you do a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes. So obviously theater was sort of your calling right from the beginning. Pretty much, yeah, I, I guess so. I, I, when I was, uh, if you look at my little, you know, the, the yearbooks that your mother would make, the mm -hmm. little scrapbooks. The scrap, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and every year it would say, what do you want to be? And uh, it was singer, dancer, actor, and mom. So, um, yeah, you got all of them. Yeah. yeah nice. <laughs> so, what was your first memory as doing a play, like for school or for yourself? or? Oh, well, it's tragic. Oh. The first memory I have, I auditioned for uh, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, and yeah. I wanted to audition for Snoopy. And you didn't? And they wasn't allowed to because I was a girl. Well, that's sexist. I, <laughs> well, I was... Because you're never really sure what sex Snoopy is. N no offense to the Catholic school system, but that's, you know, I was in the Catholic school system and it was... Yeah, exactly. Snoopy is male, so therefore you have to be male. Exactly. He's a dog. But you don't that's really okay just... because about 30 years later, I got to play Snoopy in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. So <laughs> Congratulations. <it's> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> took me about 30 years, but I got there. <laughs> That's great. So also then music and stuff like that. Now you sing in the plays as well. Yes. Okay. Sing, dance, act. As well as Dave here. Yes. Now Dave, I know you did more gaming and stuff like that for a while before you got into the play. Just a bit, yeah. Yes. <laughs> did you just think it was like an easy progression to go from role playing to plays? Uh, it was an easy progression once I saw it being done and said, I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I get your point. I did say to you guys... Yeah. At first, that I was going to start, you know, real role playing as mm -hmm. opposed to doing it at a table. Yes, exactly. And I'm just it... Expanding my horizons. Well, because the, there is the live action role playing and stuff like that, which I know you never yeah, actually really LARP did. I never got, got into. into. But like I've always told people, when you do role playing, it's not hard to. You always have to put yourself in the imagination of someone else, right? Mm -hmm. So I could see it, especially for you. You're an outgoing person, doing. Don't give me you're not an outgoing person. <laughs> You've learned to be more outgoing over the years. I have learned over years. Yes. yes. I've mellowed in my old age. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like again, like the role playing I figured might have helped you be able to put yourself in different people's imagination and stuff like that. Um there is a certain amount of carryover, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um I don't know that it necessarily taught me because um, you have we always we uh, putting ourselves into the imagination we as a group never had a problem doing. Yes. Right? So it was just another Expression. growing into the position. position. Yeah. Now the singing was for you different because you never really struck no, me as No, growing a... up I was told I couldn't carry it. Uh, I couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. Um, direct quote from my mother. Okay. And, and so I just I let, let it sink in. Um, not even singing in the shower and then um, the company needed men for Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and they said, you don't have to sing. You can stand in the back and wave your arms back and forth and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to give it a go. And so I sang the first time, and our company owner and director just sat there and went, who the hell told you you can't sing? Now, what company is it again, just so everyone... Suzart Productions. There we go. I figured we should plug it in at yeah, some point in time. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> that. Now, have you taken other lessons for singing since, or no. just... just Natural. I just a go workshop. out and do it. Didn't you do the workshop? It was okay. It was an hour-long workshop, but yeah, I guess yeah. I did a workshop. Yeah. No. Now, Suzard is is that that's your sister that's helped start that, isn't it? No. 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 From, okay. no. 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 Just what different the name? Sue. Different <laughs> Sue. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sue. Just... yeah. Suzard was started by uh, Sue Fowler and Elaine McCausland uh, a number of years ago when they decided that they wanted to have a company that was going to have a mandate of teaching theater and musical theater to everybody but especially kids mm -hmm. um, they just decided that there was a need to uh, tutor kids yeah. or train kids in all the aspects of theater it's also much more open for that it's like less r restrictions than some other far less yeah far, yeah. far fewer it's more the big one is have fun um, it's about having fun it's about working together um, it's about, about family. family yeah that's good yeah. And, and trying things as well. Like, no, we didn't rehearse that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been saying it a few times, I yeah. imagine, with that like that. 
And well, your kids are all involved with it. Yes. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, the eldest is now in theater school in Victoria. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Quite well. Um, but yeah, uh, Xander, our youngest, mm -hmm. was uh, actually in the in a crib in the back of the theater as we were building the sets for Anne of Green Gables <laughs> in 2005. <laughs> he was sleeping in his playpen. Yeah, okay, yeah. In the it back just there. Used him as a part of the. And and you know he'd wake up. I'd tend to him. He'd look around and coo and go back to sleep. And I'd continue to work on the sets. And so pretty much he's been there since then. He's been there since the beginning. Yeah. And uh, now he's, uh, uh, well, he's a cabinet member in Annie. He's uh, <laughs> Ickies. Harold Ickies. Oh, Harold Ickies. And when is the Annie coming out? Uh, it's the second weekend in December. Nice. Seventh to the tenth. Seventh to the tenth. Okay. Yeah. We'll put links correct. up for there for everything for the tickets and all that sort of Get stuff. Get your tickets. Yeah. <laughs> they sell out quick. Now you've all oh, both of you gone from just straight acting and singing to more yes. production yeah. involved, more background stuff as well. So which I actually started in the background. Yeah. Um, and out of Green Gables I was only um, building the set. Building the oh, set. Man. And helped out only, with the set. Yeah. Oh, and so helped out, sorry. Helps. Helped out backstage yeah. uh, on the crew uh, during the run. It wasn't until totally, uh, Joseph this, in the next year that I actually got involved. Mm -hmm. um, so I have spent a lot of time backstage as well as on stage, mm -hmm. uh, set building, stage management, whatever. Yeah. Props master. Props, Props master. master. Yeah. He didn't like that one. Master nope. carpenter. <laughs> master carpenter, okay. <laughs> but, but he made the best french fries ever. Oh, there we go. So also chef. Well, cool. well um, not really. They were made out of styrofoam. styrofoam. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, oh, for props. Okay, for props. Yes, prop not fries. Prop not fries. fries. That could be. <laughs> that would have been interesting. It's like, go ahead, try the fries. I really did a good job. They it. looked perfect. Well, that's good. Which one was that for? That was uh, for Greece. Oh, come on. Right. Yeah, Greece. And Danny, you now have gone more into the background of directing and choreographing. Yes, I have choreographed, um, oh gosh, I guess eight or eight shows or so now. Mm -hmm. Um, I uh, did some apprentice direction and then I got to direct The Little Mermaid last year, Yes, which was fun. And I'm directing uh, James and the Giant Peach, which comes out in May, the weekend Very good. after Victoria Day weekend. Right. Just Very good. You know, <laughs> get your tickets. Yeah. Get your tickets. So which do you prefer? Background, directing, uh, you know, it's, or it's... It's different. It, it's, it's, they're both a rush. Um, I mean, let's face it, I'm a performer. I love getting me some applause. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's, it's what yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, um, I think one of my favorite experiences is actually watching the audience react to something that I've done. Uh, when I did Oklahoma, uh, there's a big dream ballet, and I did it with children. Um, as if Lori was having a, you know, how you have one of those dreams about school where you're stuck in school in a really oh, horrible situation. Oh, yes, yes, I've yeah. had those. Yeah. So that's, that's what I based the dream ballet on. And at the very end of it, there was this really creepy part where the bad guy drags... And these are like 10 year olds, right? Ooh. Drags the little girl off. Mm -hmm. And that's when Lori wakes up is when this happens. And there was... It, with almost every show, there was like this three-second pause before people oh, so applauded. The shock like, of, uh, yeah. and I went, yeah, that's, that's right. what you want. <laughs> and it's also good seeing the kids' faces when they, you know, they get that applause from. It is Earth. fabulous. It is fabulous. And then you know that every time I see people get up and applaud something that I've worked on, piece of choreography or a piece of direction, it's kind of like. I did that. That's me. That was that was me. I yeah. know you don't think that's me, but that's, that's me. me. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was me, so that's all I care that's about. Yeah. So, like I said, like you seem to be more enjoying the back, like more the directing now. So, but I do, but I still love to perform. I still love to perform. I still like. I love being silly. I love playing the silly characters. Mm -hmm. I get to be Lily St. Regis in oh. Annie. Oh, you right. know. good accent named after the hotel. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm named Hotel. Um. Yeah. The so hotel's named after you. Hotel. No. The hotel. hotel. <laughs> So, you know, I still love to do that. I still love to dance. I love to sing. Um, How's you know. working dancing? How's the dance? Because I know you've had some few issues dancing, lately. Dancing is, is not as easy as it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yes, I, I suffer from fibromyalgia, so yeah. you know it's the joints can be. It can be, yeah, it can be a little rough. Mm -hmm. Thank God for my jacuzzi tub. Yeah. I'm sitting there. <laughs> just, I'll be out in a while. At, just, at <laughs> temperature as hot as possible, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, just put the egg there. It'll fry. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. I'll boil it right here. It's okay. Yeah. You know, but um, that's it's yeah, worth it. It is. It's it's still it's joyful, right? Yes. Well, as long as you're still getting the joy from that's all. That's it. And I'm not. I mean, I'm not dancing like I did when I was 19. No. Things. Come on. I can't just stick my head up, stick yeah, my foot up in the air yeah. and go, hi. Yeah, those things me. don't quite work anymore. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, okay, well, we're, this, this is good. We're, we're good here. That's the core, core level now, yeah. The choreographer actually asked me, how are your splits these days? And I went, um, jazz splits. Look, <laughs> look, I can do the splits this way. My arms can still go across. There we go. Yes. No, she can drop I, and I can do a jazz, good jazz split. split. Okay. I can jazz split, but don't ask me to do full splits. Or too many jazz splits in a row. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, we're... Oh, that's good. Did you get that? One take. We're good. One take. That's all we and need. none of those drag queen death drops. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so you, you know, I knew the John Claude Van Damme one there. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be like okay. I'm not getting up. Someone, Dave. Yeah, there's not a lot of Russian splits in uh, no. choreography. No, no, no. I don't tend to. Um, I don't tend to do that. So. Yeah, and then choreography is fun because there are a lot of people that have done these shows that don't. I've never danced before. Mm -hmm. So, um... It can be, I imagine, a little... Well, you know, sometimes I have my arm waivers. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes I have... Okay, well, you guys are going to be the band. <laughs> but, um... I, I don't... There was, again, going back to Oklahoma, there was, uh... There's one gentleman who swears he can't dance. He can, he can dance. Um, He's special. But he was... <laughs> Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I loved his attitude so much that I actually made him a feature dancer. Right oh, really? Okay. This well, the thing is, again, because it's, it's, um, yeah, I hate to use the term amateur. Community. But community. Well, that, that's no, amateur community. is a great yeah, word. Do you know yeah. what amateur means, right? Yeah, not, not paid for it. No, it means for the love of. For love, okay. Oh, that's, that's what amateur means. Okay. It means for the love, love of, of rather than for the pay for. Mm -hmm. So, and that's exactly. amateur is a great word. And it's also good because you guys, like, you want to try it, go try it for you. That's it. Exactly. And and Dave, you are starting to do a lot more other stuff as well. I've okay. done a lot of stage management. Yeah. Last, actually, last year I did three. Yeah. So Stage managed three shows. ASM and one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what have I been doing? Yeah, backstage. Yeah, uh, doing stage management. And again, uh, as Denny says, when, you see, when something comes together, you get the set call down pad or the lighting call down pad mm -hmm. and everything comes out the way the lighting designer or the set designer or the sound designer whoever designed mm -hmm. um had intended when you can make their vision happen that's a that's a kick yeah so what's your favorite play that you've been involved with like not just singing godspell. Dancing or... godspell. oh really okay it was we'll uh, <laughs> well yeah godspell was the show that we uh found each other in okay oh, all right so okay it was, it was it was not a financial success <laughs> there were times when there were more people on the stage than in the audience yes um back in the days when we did february full february shows yeah. well we're um, doing full february shows again they're just in a different format now yeah okay um so yeah it was but we weren't really particularly concerned about the audience for that show um our sue our director had managed to pull together a cast that really bonded well, That's some more than others. So well, um, and so we were we were on stage for ourselves. The fact that there were people out there applauding every so often was, was cool. Cool, but it was it's but more it wasn't hurt. necessary. Um, yeah. and we all felt it. And there, were, in the final scene where Jesus is doing his you know breaking of the bread on the on the last show, there are a lot of tears that just had nothing to do with the fact because that, it, was, know, it, was the last, it was the yeah. last show. Well, yeah. That's good. That's that's. That's awesome. Like, that's a great story. So, now here's another one. What would you love to direct or be in for Suzar? Or not just Suzar, but any. If you could, like, okay, I want to be in that play, that situation, that... Okay, well, I actually just applied to be the choreographer for another show because it's the dream choreography role. I didn't get it, but mm -hmm. someone that I feel that I've had an influence on oh, look, you're right. became the choreographer, so I sort of feel like... That's okay, I can hand that over to mm. Morgan because, yeah. you know, I had a, 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 even if it's just a small hand, <laughs> you, you were part I had of the a molding. small hand in him becoming yeah. the, the dancer that he is, so yeah, he was I'll take that. Yeah, he was from the time he was eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. Which, which one was, which play? Or which 
production? Um, well, I choreographed him in Bye Bye Birdie. No, I meant the no. one that... Oh, what is Chicago, sorry. Oh, okay. That would... Yeah. Bossy. <sighs> but like you said, at least sort of a little mentor is, is there and in, in there for you. As yeah. for directing, mm -hmm. I mean, let's face it, it would be amazing to choreograph and direct Chicago because that they really, they're hand in hand. Mm -hmm. But if I was just to direct, straight direct... Um, I'd actually have to go to a non-musical show. I'd have to go to, um, uh, You Can't Take It With You. Oh, okay. I love yeah. that play. It's just so fun. Yeah. It's just so fun, and you can do so much with it. Dave? It's a tougher question. Um, unlike Danny, I was not raised on musicals. Yes. Um, the, no. um, the musicals that I'm aware of are the ones that we've been in. Um, so what I'd like to do again is Godspell yeah. um, even though I think I've been a little long in the tooth for the role that I want to do um, no that's okay. called ageless <laughs> okay cool um, or I'd like to be in Jesus baby Christ Jesus Superstar. would be a little hard for you to do though I have to just say baby, baby Jesus there's no baby Jesus there's no baby in Godspell <laughs> yeah he comes like out fully like a flashback 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 and <laughs> I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want the Jesus role either way. No. Um, and uh, Jesus Christ Superstar, mm. uh, I'd like to be in as well. Now, would like you to be in Jesus Christ? Superstar. Yes, okay. we. I was stage you guys, manager. You guys last have done. Yeah, I was going to say you guys have yeah. done that. Yes. And um, now, would you modernize it even more with more modern music? When we did, oh. I don't know if you can even modernize the rock. There is Jesus no Christ. Point, like yeah. I mean, it 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 is. <laughs> It's a rock opera. It's a rock yeah. opera, yeah. and it's and I don't like. I mean, I guess you could have somebody singing it, Metallica, Metallica esque. <laughs> no, like you, you could, you yes. could have a Judas that has that uh, voice yeah. instead. Yeah. But honestly, the music is still holds up. It, yeah, yeah, it's still fairly timeless at this point. It's not like you know. Now, I love me some Cole Porter. Oh, that'd and be I love, that. I love the Gershwins. 1920s. But, but, oh, come on, 1920s flapper girls and stuff like that. And but, then, <laughs> but they're they're not something that you could just you know play on your iPod and mm -hmm. people would go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's if, true. If you play Jesus Christ Superstar on the iPod, and they might go. You, you have know, kids. Who, yes. Who would go? Oh, what band is that? Yeah, but it's still sort of. Oh, that sounds okay. Yeah. But then again, it's always good to introduce them to Cole Porter yeah, when and stuff we, like that. And, when Cesar did. Jesus Christ Superstar, our director decided that she was going to um, um, set it in the market. Okay. Byward market. Byward market, yeah. So yeah. now. Now, yes. Type thing, right? And it was very much with a message for today in mind. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there was a. It just tried to incorporate a lot of the stuff that is down in the market. Mm -hmm. Tried to get some uh, um, of the businesses down there to sponsor. Yeah. Uh, we got the Salvation Army in there. Um, well, it makes sense for Jesus Christ Superstar. Yeah, like, yeah well. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. So, can, uh, it was modernized, but there's nothing you need to do with music. No. Yeah, it's no. Well, like I said, wouldn't it be interesting to do a 1920s sort of flapper girl one with the... Well, um, it, yeah, no, they've done that with a lot of shows. Um, they've played around with that. Godspell is one mm -hmm. uh, where they made it poppier. I don't know. If I, I yeah. my personal preference is not poppier. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> like if I'm going to put an edge on something, it's not going to be a. Oh, come on, a little Britney Spears in there. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be a Britney Spears, <laughs> Justin Bieber kind of edge. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know. Yeah. If I was going to. The put kids it, would love it though. If I was going to put an edge on it, I'd put more ours. like a. Yeah. A Lenny Kravitz kind of edge to it, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Maybe some mighty mighty boss tones in there. You know how they take yes. the. The sort of the basic backbeat type stuff and kind of put Break. a little edge onto well, it. So. That'd be actually not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> now on to something different because I know like you, well especially you, mm -hmm. Disney is like oh. you, guys, well, you guys have been to Disney a couple times. <laughs> yeah, a couple. So, three times now. So, looking back on some of the movies that they've done, do you think there's still like the modern movies are better? than some of the classics for some of the messages and stuff like that to young especially younger girls see here's the thing it, i know like message bad message bad yeah. 
But what I try to, what I've always tried to tell my kids, and, and believe me, all three of them are feminists, okay, is that this is, first of all, you have to understand the period that this comes from. Um, and we're also going to take a look at the actual non-Disney story because a uh, lot of the stories don't actually end the way they Disney don't very happy they don't too many happy a lot of no, those Grimm's, Gr Grimm's were not the into... Grimm's were grim <laughs> yes yeah. yeah it was not a happy um, uh, Hans von Gretel was not a no no no, no, no. exactly so uh, and then I say and don't rem don't forget Disney never actually says happily ever after no they end the story at the beginning of the relationship that's where the hard part happens yes and I've always said that. <laughs> well, and then there's also The Little Mermaid, which, I mean, I love for its music, and I love for it, but I I hate the endings. <laughs> All that's important is you're pretty. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can't talk? That's okay. You just, just stand there and be pretty. That's because it. Because the original ending, Hans Christian Andersen's ending, is that she gets a soul, right? She mm. actually dies. She doesn't wind up with the prince. She's the one that dies. And then she earns her soul, soul, which a mermaid isn't supposed to have. And that's her happy ending, is that she actually becomes a truly uh, human. human. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, the, the whole, oh, it wasn't you, it was you. Okay, let's get married. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah. The female role models now are more relevant to our kids. Yes. 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 Yeah, there is that. It's because again, and it's like I will take the original Snow White over Snow White and the Huntsman. Oh my <laughs> oh, gosh! Oh jeez, yes. yes, yes, yeah. No? I'll give you that one. Um, the, hands down, yes. You know, it's yeah. like also a lot of the villains in the old days, some like were better for some of the like they've had some of the modern ones are also good, but for a while it's like is that the villain? Well, they brought Maleficent. Out. Well, yeah. Although she wasn't a villain anymore. Yeah, I just. I don't mind that they play with that. I mean, they've been playing that ever since, um, oh my gosh, the author's name is gone. But the author who wrote the book, Wicked, which the musical is based, based on. on yes. um, and I remember going, they are going to make a musical out of Wicked? That's such a depressing book. Because it really is. It's yeah. very depressing, right? I, I mean, in the book... Alphaba, who's the Wicked Witch, mm -hmm. is kind of a protester. She's protesting against the injustices of society. That's her whole existence. And, That's pretty good. And she hits failure after failure oh. after failure after failure. Oh. And she gets criminalized for being the radical mm -hmm. that she is that's protesting against society. How dare you try to make changes? Stick to your place. Greedy. Yeah. Yes. And you know what? The little girl in me prefers the play because <laughs> it has a happy ending <laughs> and I know I know it's like there's still I am a feminist but there's still that little girl in me that, that goes, goes oh, and they live happy <laughs> ever after yeah. well, at least it's good that you're teaching your kids like here's the background like why it was done back then this you know there's oh, yeah i mean yeah. and it, it's fantasy and reality let's let's be real like i mean you know there are plays also that are based in reality there's plays like ragtime oh. you know there's even disney has done yeah, uh, uh, the salesman one or two death of salesman and stuff like that yeah that really. are based in reality so but and, you know, depressing. but disney is not about reality let's no. face it i mean if you go to disney world like you were saying there is no reality in disney world um, there's, uh, there's the Hollywood Studios, for instance, mm -hmm. and you walk down the Hollywood Studios and there's pavement that looks like it's been chipped away to reveal the cobblestones underneath. And I remember being there with someone who said, you know, it's amazing that they haven't fixed this. And I went, they, 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 they don't, they, it, they, didn't, <laughs> they made it that, that is that, yeah. like it's that so that it looks like there's cobblestones underneath this pavement, everything <laughs> Is designed. Like is designed. Everything is, I mean, so managed. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Like, truly brilliant. But it's but, all fantasy. There's but it's complete fantasy. When you go to Disney, you, you check reality at the door. And... You know, you live in complete, a complete break from reality. You just have to know that there it is. There's your break from reality. Once we leave and get on the airplane, yes. <laughs> we're back to bills and yeah, crappy nasty food people and, and not pleasant. Yeah. for breaking from reality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, and they have crappy food too, but we they, it's usually buffet, so we can avoid the nasty mac and cheese that no offense to all you Americans, but you're the ones that eat that stuff. Yeah. 
it's yeah mac and cheese no wrong yeah, it's yeah. like that really saucy one yeah you know? it, no no <laughs> now the question though is would you ever go from amateur to pro for play uh yeah okay <laughs> just no it's just because some people that are like i'm available <laughs> you want to pay me i'm good <laughs> yeah no actually i i do i i actually can say that i'm a professional singer because um, that's one of the things that I do is I, I sing in retirement and long-term care homes oh, and nice, nice. sometimes for kids as well yeah, so that's great. it's one of one of my jobs oh. <laughs> cheers to you congratulations <laughs> but like you know because I know some people are like oh I never want to get paid because I want to just it's like wait, no, you want to pay me pay if you want to pay me for something I love like h hello like yeah if you could pay me as much as I make now yeah well, exactly. Same for me. It's like, people want to pay me to do interviews? I'm game. I don't mind. Right? I love this. Like, I don't mind doing the whole setup, all that sort of stuff. Pay me. I'm fine. Or pay me, <laughs> at least pay me beer. I'm that that pretty I... sure that they train in that stuff over at Algonquin. <laughs> train. <laughs> hey, you sound boring. Study I just, stuff. So I was like, it's like people are like, do you have a format? Yeah, I talk. <laughs> like, well, how's, how's it go for the interviews? I just talk. I don't care. I switch subjects. I'll bring in other stuff. I don't care. Like, it's... What I do. Speaking of which, movies. Have you seen Thor yet? We're going right after this. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so no spoilers. Thank you very much. Nope. So don't. We, watch we already know that the Hulk uh, figures into it, and Loki comes back from the dead. Yeah, uh, we got that. I really enjoyed it. I mean, again, it's. It, yeah, I'm afraid I haven't watched your review on it. But, no, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Um, I give it a good rating because it's a. F in, in my mind, it's one of those fun entertainment movies. Like, yes. You're not looking for deep moral stuff. It's, okay. I'm sorry, but it's Marvel, and you're not looking for deep exactly. moral stuff. When you exactly. Exactly. The movie. best movies are the ones where they bring out the, the humor. And 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 this hits it on all points. I mean, yes, I had some issues with it just because it could have been improved. But that's just me. Everything right? could be improved. But I found it. I sat through it. I loved it. I was like, this is there's fun, there's comedy, there's action. You know, good dialogue. And again, you can you can tell and the cast are having fun. Like I'm looking forward to seeing Valkyrie. She does a good job. Um, I'm looking forward. I to want that. more for her, like, more for her, and hopefully she'll be involved. She's supposed to be involved in another, like maybe Infinity War, which would be great. Yeah, there's not going to be a whole lot of development. In Infinity well, the, War. no, because it's going to be like, okay, we've got Guardians of Galaxy. Yeah, <laughs> maybe she'll get her own movie. Well, they, they've actually, before Infinity War. There was there was some talks. They're hoping that they might <laughs> be on a Netflix show. But oh, I could live with that. But that's gonna that's gonna be weird because Disney is gonna do their own streaming. I know. So, which is everybody's so, leaving Netflix. It sucks. I know. So, like, <laughs> the the Marvel shows that are on Netflix, they're contracted for so long, so they're they're there, but they're not going to get any new ones. Yeah. Which is too bad because I'm like, a Valkyrie Netflix show would be great. Right. Yeah, but why can it not be great with Disney doing it? Well. Well, it can still be great. It's just that we have to pay for another channel. That's that's just it. I, I don't have to pay for another streaming one. Like I can get a raise. Well, it's not also, a problem. Well, it's also, the thing is, Netflix does a good job mostly with their shows, right? Within the Marvel ones. Yeah. Um, uh, mostly, yes. Mostly. Oh, okay, Iron. Oh, sorry. No, they started off well. Iron Man sucked from the get-go. Iron Fist. Iron, Iron Fist. Fist. Sorry. Yeah. Iron, Iron Man Fist. does not suck. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Uh, Iron Fist uh, third sucked one. Movie. And went and Iron Fist and then Daredevil <laughs> in um, Dead Defenders. Defenders. Yeah, they whipped we out. We didn't use them enough. They well, that, that's Matt the thing. Murdoch. Well, he, and here's why: the guy behind Iron Fist is also the guy behind Defenders. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That well, they they gave him the shot, but they're, everyone's sort of like, I don't think he's gonna get another shot because that's too uh, like he sort of like. Ugh. I yeah. was kind of I was so, I I didn't have huge expectations for Iron Fist. Mm -hmm. To be honest, the Daredevil was so good. Well, the thing is, the Daredevil was to turn so him into that. Well, good. the thing is, though, also when you find out, like even Power uh, Iron uh, Power Man, Luke Cage. Yes, Luke I Cage. liked. It was yeah, good. Luke Cage yeah. in the show was good. Jessica Jones, for me, was a harder show to watch because it was it was pretty much it was a much darker theme. And yet, I loved it. Oh no, I didn't. That. I don't the Jessica wrong. Jones show. I loved. I don't like. I loved Jessica it. Jones loved and Defenders. Not so uh, it, I, I loved it as well, but it was just more. It was for harder to do because of the subject matters and stuff like that. It was like, okay, I'm not just gonna sit here and just go through the entire thing. It's like I'll watch one. Oh, <sighs> it was good. Need a break. See, I'm totally the opposite. You watch because all... you know why, it, girls. Let's face it, girls. Even the powerful girls. Yes. I mean, oh, that's the, the, that's the thing that they're, I have. They're 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 holy. Yes. I loved Wonder Woman. <laughs> loved Wonder Woman, but she's holy. Yes. It, it's like a woman can't be just 
normal. And then you get to the comedies, like the that everybody Ugh. loves, like the freaking bridesmaids, and it's all about pooping. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's like either they're holy or they're pooping. Yeah. Jessica Jones is like a person. No, no, no. I lo- like I said, I, I loved her character. Like the way they they, they did a great job with her. It was just for me, some of the subject matter was like, okay, this is a little uncomfortable. Yeah. But uh, but she's... you're a man. Yeah. <laughs> See. <laughs> but <laughs> women kind of looked at that and went, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, well, like I said, I I loved her, and the villain was really good. Purple Man was good. Oh yeah. And uh, like I said, so Luke Cage, uh, Jessica Jones, and yeah, Daredevil was great, and. Punisher and Daredevil was also Punisher, yeah. you know. And again, it's it's a whole different ones because you have Jessica Jones that's reality gritty and stuff like that. Luke Cage is sort of getting in between, you know. And Daredevil is sort of, I'm a hero, but I still do bad things. And then you end up with Iron Fist, and you're just like, it was a mess because they didn't know what to do. It's like, are we? What are we doing with boardroom stuff? Every We're show, throwing stuff out just for the sake of throwing yeah. it out. Get ready for defenders. Yeah, that was and it. It's just, and it should have been thrown out. Look at me. I'm intense. Well, the problem was also is the uh, <laughs> the actor didn't train for the fight scenes. Like you could tell, Daredevil he trained. Oh, I mean it's I not just good. it's not just getting buffed. He did the martial arts and the choreographed training so he could do the fights. And you're going like those long scenes where it's just a continual shot. Those are not easy to do. No. Those are hard to do. That's why yes. most actors tend to do the quick cuts because it's like mm-hmm. uh, I can't just keep fighting like this. He trained. He did it. Then you get the Iron Fist, which is again the quick cuts edits because like he's not doing a good job it's like throw the fist throw, throw the punch just throw the punch it's, probably it was so angsty yeah that was the other one too <laughs> so I mean the thing is so he Jessica co- Jones was angsty right like it, it, but was, it was good, but yes. it was angsty it was the right kind of angsty this just made me feel like I was watching well, a bunch of 16 year there's a word I was hearing, like how can you tell your adult you drink to get rid of your problems as opposed to drink just to have fun it's like I'm an adult now fuck yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's what her. Just, uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have to watch this because you know I have to. Oh, because horrible. Defenders coming out. <laughs> yes, and you want to know. Every and character. then Defenders came out, and I went, okay, well, there's Defenders because Defenders is gonna have, you know, Daredevil, the other characters, Daredevil. and why is there so much Iron Fist in this? Yeah. Uh, this is well, I'm hoping Defenders this is just Iron Fist and friends. And this was kind of hoping the next the next season is more Daredevil and Jessica Jones and stuff like that. Which would be Please. nice. Um, now, the Punisher. Have you guys seen the trailer for the Punishers? Oh, is there a new one? Uh, well, there's one where they have the Metallica soundtrack. <laughs> nice. He, I think he's, I've seen it. But... He's, he starts off with a heavy machine gun, but it's they start with the uh, one from Metallica. And then when the machine gun starts up, that's the heavy drum beat at the same time. So you're going... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it. And everyone's just like, okay, as a guy, I'll just... Oh, I, was, I was gonna need a cigarette now. It was just too much. Because <laughs> <laughs> as a guy, you're like, oh, yeah! <laughs> And then, then you realize, wait, he's actually shooting a lot of people. Maybe we shouldn't be celebrating. But that's a comic book. It's fantasy. Okay. Fantasy, exactly. See, again, fantasy. Yes. You have to. This yeah. is not. And like, he's the darkest one of them all. But, I, yeah, I don't know. If Iron Fist was just okay. He's he spent his entire life at a monastery, and only is his angsty. Oh, I, I should have stayed, but I wanted to be here. But I should have stayed, and oh, I should have. You know what it reminds? That's. You you just said it. You rem- it reminded me of a Star Wars episode two. Oh God! <laughs> yes, yes. Oh God! I want to, but I can't. Yeah, yeah. But I want to, but I can't. But I want to, but I can't. Just do it. With yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't spend the entire most of the show. Oh, should I? I I mean, did I make a wrong decision? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yes. No. It's like, dude, get yes. on. With it. Rem- do it. Hot Re- analogy. Oh, well, you remind. Okay, reminds me of the. Angel, no, Buffy. When Spike comes back, and then later on, uh, Spike's an angel. But Angel's like, oh, it's, it's been so hard. And Spike's like, dude, get over it. Like, you've been, you've been doing this for 200 years. Like, what the hell, man? Like, I, I had the same issues you did, but I got over it. Like, what's your... Why are you still... Well, why did Spike about was such a be- much better character than Angel. Oh, he was. But it was just so funny because Spike, Spike going, dude... Spike had his own show. Yes. <laughs> it's like, dude, get over it. I, I went through the same thing you did. In fact, I had it worse because I wasn't expecting this soul and shove and then yeah i had one play in my brain making me kill people i'm over it i mean i'm still dealing with it but quit fucking whining about it and and that was iron fist it's like but angel was whining yes 
that, that was his character. That was his character. And but he wasn't the main character, so it was okay. Yes. It's okay to have a whiny character. But now they're the main focus. <laughs> That's right. Because it's nice if Dragon Fist was the same as he was Iron in Fist. Amazing Spider-Man. Iron Fist was the same as he was in Amazing Spider-Man. Well, no, also, <laughs> yes, but also uh, his his sidekick, I hate to use that term, because it's Colleen, the, the, the Asian, oh, the, yeah, the yeah, female, yeah. she is... She she's, should she's be kick-ass, yeah. She yeah, should be she Iron Fist. She should be her she show. Should be, yeah, she should be the... Well, that's where they're... they're you know, I thought the same thing, too. It's like, how, well, about, was, how about he dies and, and she, takes and over she becomes Iron Fist? Yes, exactly. Because that would be good. Yeah. Are you listening, Marvel? <laughs> Pay attention. Just saying. Um, this is um, where they're talking, because <laughs> there's been talks about doing an all-female show with uh, Colleen Wing, um, Black Cat, and uh, I can't remember who else... Uh, not Dazzler, but another one. But the problem we've seen is Marvel had an issue for the longest time of not having a very strong female superhero. Yeah, like, no, I would say... Well, I mean, okay, Black Widow was great. Oh, she is. Uh, she was great. I would love... I, it, but again, that's the actress, like, yeah, g getting the part. Like, sh you know... She did it. She nailed yeah, it. She, um, she nailed it. But if you look at the, the comic book ones, mm -hmm. you're going, okay, Captain Marvel, she's standalone, she can do stuff. Then who's the other individual? Individual? Yeah, that's just it. Who, Not a lot. They had Dazzler for a while, but you're going, yeah, it's a Dazzler. <laughs> We're still evolving. Oh, the comics. Yes. Come on, I mean. Oh, come on! Don't you like the like the Power Girl with the let's let's show off my you know wait wait let, wait wait let me get let me the get wider the here. The boobs, the more powerful you are. Come on. Yes. <laughs> that's why I, I've been losing a little weight. I'm a little less powerful than I used to be. Sorry. <laughs> um, you mean the ones no, that lift you up so you can like but, it, uh, yeah. but it, it was I mean with some very small exceptions it was a very male driven industry mm. and we're just oh, starting no, exactly. to, to push past that and and that's okay like sometimes I think as much as I would love to say okay enough let's let's misogyny garbage I mean it's still gonna be at the show. same time this is a societal thing that cannot be erased in one decade. No, generations. I mean, look at look at any other kind of prejudice. It takes years and, and it's years. Still in the background, and sometimes. It's still there. Yeah. See, like for me, when they made the female Thor, people, a lot of people, oh my god, how can you? Like me was more like, well, it's not really Thor. She has the power of Thor. I have no problem. Her have been able to wield the hammer and everything. Just don't call her Thor, because Thor's Thor the actual character. Yeah. Thor's the guy. It's not the hammer, and they made it, and that's where I was yeah, not happy with it. It's not supposed like, to be passed on. It's not a title. Well, it's also Beta Real Bill has he yielded the hammer, and he was his own comic for a while. Mm -hmm. He had the power of Thor, but he was Beta Ray Bill. So call her her name. Call her like Lady Sith would have been a perfect choice, but don't call her Thor because it's not Thor. It's the power. It's not a title. Exactly. It's I the, know. I get yeah. it. I absolutely get it. So now I, I have no problem with the. F oh my god, the females killing the hammer. Uh, better than a robot. She's worthy. She's worthy. All it says is someone who's worthy. And the worthiness is never really written down, you know. Yeah, you're worthy. It does not because... say worthy because you have a penis. Yeah. It's like. It's, <laughs> what? Uh, oh, gross. I, I thought I, that's what the stick at the end of the hammer meant. Yeah, I can see that. I can see Odin. <laughs> Silly me. I can see Odin doing that. Let's fuck over people. If you don't have a penis, you're worthy. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? What? I can't listen anymore. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's like screw all of you. I'm gonna fuck with you just because you know. So yeah, I, no, I get it. I get that Thor is not a. See, title. but that's where like whereas other characters that have gone from male to female, it's their title that gets carried oh. over. Black Panther, Black Panther, Captain Black Panther, Marvel, Captain Marvel, because it was you know like. Wildcat. Uh, Wildcat. Yeah, because you know? those are all titles, whereas Thor is the what he was is, born with. Yeah. Hello, welcome to the world. You are Thor. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not like, oh, here's a hammer that's Thor and you who... who yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, no, I get the that. The character's yeah. name is not Mjolnir. And, and see, like I said, DC always had Wonder Woman. To me, was was... I mean, okay, yes, there's always been some issues with some of her stuff, especially in the 70s, where, like, if a man bound her... He was helpless. There was okay, but in the seventies, the seventies was the seventies. Well, yeah. So the, 70s. 70s. Well, yeah. So <laughs> the fact that Wonder Woman has been around for that long and took forever to get a movie made. Well, but, you know, it. What, what was that meme a few years ago? That you know, 
DC, we couldn't possibly make a movie with a woman at the helm. Talking raccoon and tree. Nobody wa- Meanwhile, talking raccoon and, and killing killing tree? Sure, yeah, bring it on. Woo-hoo! But again, it's like, so where's your movie with the female lead? Ah, uh, yeah, now. Yeah, that's just it. Now it's like, hi. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, DC... Pers- my personal opinion. Yeah, no, that's... that's does TV really well. Oh, yes. TV and their animated movies. Like, have you... The, their animated movies are really yes, well done. Animated stuff but is really until good. Wonder Woman... Yeah. I have not truly enjoyed a DC movie since the first Michael Keaton... Sorry, oh, yeah. not the first... Because there was also the one that was done from the movie, which I love, love. But oh, I actually have that the one. The, the, 19, the 1960s. You know, Michael <laughs> Keaton. Yes. We did Batman. Like, I did. I, I Chris liked. Van, Chris Nolan's uh, Dark Knight. I liked it. I the did. The first one was good. The first one was good. The second one he called it in. Oh, yeah. But fortunately, we had you know, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Heath, and, well, okay, and Morgan that's just Freeman. It. And, yes. Yeah, the, but the, the sometimes there's are all things good. that I just. I mean, I know you're supposed to suspend. You're supposed to suspend disbelief. I get it. Um, you know, when when we first went to see <laughs> when we first went to see Captain America, who's like my favorite, just mm-hmm. putting that out there. And they they give they they present him with the shield. You know, it's vibranium. It absorbs all vibration, and then in the same scene, it bounces off a wall. And I said, yes. it shouldn't. That. It, it, if it's it's yeah. bad, and he's like, "Shut yeah, up!" It's yeah, yeah. Comic book It'd be physics. like, I throw at the wall, and it goes tonk thud. But oh, I can I can get past well, that it, comic book physics. It's because it's using it, uh, it's using uh, angles as well, not just vibe, not just. Matter. Matter. But I'm looking at things like you know, they're they're duct taped to their guns, and it's like, put down your weapons, but you cannot see the duct tape. Honest to God, you've got binoculars. Yes. You cannot see the bright silver duct tape that is on their hands. Yes. That's where I sort of go. Okay. Well, no, that's that's just the same for me. Is like there's your time to go. Like, why did the villain do that? You know, you're just like, I understand. This isn't, this isn't... So Dark Knight was okay, but everything after that, well, DC just kind of. Well, Batman begins or uh, Batman the, begins was I'm, good. Was was decent. Dark Knight and then Dark Knight Rises. I didn't like either because it's like uh, there's just too like I understand as a writer you need to have some plot conveniences where people show up. Well, you know, it, it's part of the story, Plot right? Conveniences, Batman versus Superman. Yeah, okay. Martha! Oh, Martha! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I hate What's you, your mom's you. name? Well, that's, that's, I oh, love you, let's a, form a club. There's the meme between Batman versus Rob, uh, Superman and then Iron Man versus Captain America. See, if Captain America and Iron Man's mothers had been the name the same, they would have been friends. That's it, right? But they were named differently, so, you know, they have to have a fight. Seriously? Yeah. They, that's the turning point? Oh, our moms had the same name. Okay, well, let's be friends then. Never mind. Yeah, exactly. You're my brother. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And all, well, I mean, come on, there's a whole bunch of issues. Like, hey, dude, you're you're allergic to kryptonite. It almost kills you. You know who it doesn't affect? The hot chick right next to you, who's pretty much as strong as you, can also fly, and it's not going to kill her. So she can just run up and go, pokey, 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 and I'm not weak. And, and monster's dead, and you're alive. She's alive. You know, but no, no. I hated that movie. Oh god, it was so horrible. I wanted to like it so much. Well, well as soon as that whole. Well, what did you say? Well, no, Martha, you're, it's no, my mom. No, 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 wait, wait from the beginning. When okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent meet. Now, Bruce Wayne not knowing Clark Kent, that's okay. He's a billionaire. But Clark Kent not knowing who Bruce Wayne, especially when all of a sudden now they're across the bay. They're like right across. And he's a reporter. He's a reporter. This is your billionaire, the the billionaire of the area. Gotham is huge. Wayne has industries in got in Metropolis because we see that yeah, in the movie. Saw that in the first movie. Yeah. How do you not know who the fuck this guy is? It's like okay, I don't know Mark Zuckerberg personally, but if but I, I know if him. I run into him, yeah. and I'm not a fucking reporter, and he's not living across the bay from me. Now I'm gonna say something that I know everybody else hates. But I actually liked the Lex Luthor portrayal. Mm. I thought it was Get out! Get get out! Get out! I thought it was amusing. I thought it was funny. It just that's and not I thought it it's was It's not Lex Luthor. That's just it's it. It's not I know. See that's where I don't mind if they change a for me, my opinion is I don't mind if they change a little bit of history or a little bit of stuff or oh, make the guy black and said, like, who cares? As long as the character is still basically what he's supposed to be. Now again, Fantastic Four when they made Johnny Storm Black. Oh, or, 
I'm oh, like, fantastic. I don't care about that. It's a rest of the story sucked. <laughs> like, it's like the story Can you not sucked. make Both a times. good <laughs> Fantastic Four movie? Is it not no, they possible? can't because Sony can't do it. Well, no, they, they've learned. No, it's Fox. Fox? Fox? Is that Fox? Fox, Fox. yeah. Fox. It's Sony Fox. does a better job. Yeah, well, yeah. Sony also learned from the uh, thing. Okay, tell you what. We'll just hold under the rights. We'll let Marvel do the movie. You just pay us. You go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because, uh, let's face it, I'm sorry, Homecoming is the best Spider-Man movie. Yes! yes. Because Tom Holland nails the teenager Spider-Man. He's not what, the too angsty. the 30-year-old couldn't play the teenager? <sighs> okay, exactly, that's just it. He's not too angsty. Yes. Oh, and you know what I also love? He's not cut. Yes, yes. Because Spider-Man was always skinny. Yeah. Well, he was exactly. skinny. Well, he's because it's, it's not, it's his his muscle from the Spider-Venom thing. It's like, <laughs> you know he's a musical theater actor. Yo, really? Yeah, oh. he was he in ballet. Yeah, oh, okay. He was in in um, in um, Billy. Billy Idol. I, yeah. Not no, Idol. Billy. <laughs> Billy. Billy. Oh crap! You know the, the based on we'll the movie where the the kids uh, his dad makes him a boxer, but he wants to be a dancer. Oh yes, but uh, no crap. No, okay, we're all stuck in this wow. one. But, <laughs> but yeah, but he, he nails it properly. It's like I'm not too angsty. There's a little bit of angst, but he's a teenager. But right. also, like, whoa, this is cool! Yeah, well, that's just it. It's like, oh my god, I get to be with Iron Man? That's awesome, you know? Right? And, and what 15-year-old wouldn't be like, oh my god, and also, oh, well, he's, he's spying on some girls. He's a 15-year-old guy that all of a sudden can climb walls. I, you know, like, I don't agree with it, but... No? A 15-year-old going, oh my god, I, those girls don't like me now. I can actually, you know, watch them go and bathing. But I liked him back that with did. the... Like, I, I liked him in, in the... the the Civil War. Civil War. Civil War oh, yeah, we well. like, this, like, I beat all you guys. Just like, I almost expected him to go. Can I just get your autograph? You remember that really old movie right? where they yes. where they, the walkers things yeah. and they tripped them? Yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah. It's like, Who is this kid? Yeah. Right? Like, I love <laughs> that. I was expecting him to go. Hey, Captain America, here's your shield. But can you can I just get an autograph before I give you your shield? Kid. Well, that's he's it. like a real kid. He well, looks. He acts like somebody. That my daughter hangs out with. Well, Actually, yeah. he acts an awful lot like like the other Mackenzie. But yeah, no, but it, he's awesome for that. And of course, it also helps you have a villain that is Michael Keaton is scarier out of the out of the costume, out of the costume than he is in it. Just his yes. way of intensity of like yes, he was much better. Michael as, Keaton as is the vulture than he was as Birdman. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Birdman's Birdman. a whole different thing. But yeah, like, even the vulture though, I like yeah, him Birdman when he's not little. in the costume. When he's just like. You know the intense. And and, was also, and you can that. identify with them too because I'm a blue collar worker. I've, right. I've been trying to keep my guys working. All of a sudden, Shield comes in and all this, and we're fucked. Yep. So I'm just trying to get my guys. I then it's a, it's a slow. I get it. Yeah. Oh and, yeah. And now it was he's a good. It was good development. It yeah. was a, it was good characterization. Everything about it. Honestly, Homecoming, yes, mm -hmm. absolute best Spider-Man movie. And I don't hate all the other Spider-Man movies. No, no. Um, you know, well, I, I thought different uh, portrayals were Toby interesting. Was yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, well. Venom and... We, we can hate Venom. I mean, I don't hate the characterization no. necessarily. No. I just don't think that they were perfect. No. Tobey Maguire was pretty good. Yeah. Um, Andrew Garfield was Andrew okay. Garfield had a different spin on it. Yeah. I didn't mind it. Mm. He was a little too cool for my taste. Yeah. But I thought it was interesting. interesting. Yes. And, you know, I, I love that he can speak with an American accent, and I didn't even know that he was British until afterwards. Yes, that's finally, yes. That's Which supposed, is good. Yes. Um, but no, it, the, the, that was, it was, that was Spider-Man to me. That, that was, and, you know, for me, I'm not the biggest comic book reader, but I loved the, the TV shows, right? Mm -hmm. You know, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And, and that was that's nice. what Spider-Man was! Yes, and they had the little, you know, the intro. They, they had the, 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 they had the song. In a little weird way, you're like, wait, what's that Sony. song again? That's that's they're playing it, yeah. Uh, so I meant you will like Thor. Um, mm. This one to me, like the first one captured Thor so well of the, you know, I'm an arrogant little guy. Uh, hey, you know, love me. And then the second one, the villain was blah. So the the whole movie just didn't work well. The second one was okay. Yeah. Xander uh, really liked it. <laughs> okay. This one you'll love because Loki's in it again and everything. And there's villain is. Oh, I love me some Loki. Yeah, villain is awesome. Well, there's actually two. Loki's not the villain. No, I know Loki's not the villain. Um, well, he's always a Kate villain. Kate Blanchett's the villain. Yes. yes. And she does a great job. Well, Kate Blanchett. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, if you can get an Oscar winning, a two time Oscar winning person to come and play your villain. But also, Jeff Goldblum is in there. Right? Yeah. yeah and, With his stupid little yes, pad. But it, it, work, it works so well. Like, oh, yeah, he's, because it's Jeff Goldblum. Did you see the, um, the, uh, the. James Corden. James Corden. They. <laughs> There's people at the the preview night, yeah, and they actually got all the main actors to come and do 4D Thor. Oh, which really? That they did like this cheesy um, Halloween costumed play oh, like, of the movie in front of everybody. You got to look it up. It was okay, fabulous. Place. That's fabulous. awesome. You can see it on either of our walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like uh, the the tr the musical for Guardians of the Galaxy two. There's a Oh, with, I've got to see that! It's, it's, Batista's in it with, like, fake wings, with playing the guitar. Nice. <laughs> All the cast is there, like, as themselves and stuff. They even got David Hasselhoff in there. Oh, wonderful. It's a 1970s takeoff disco theme sort of stuff. And, <laughs> and they made it just for the movie. Brilliant. Well, like, for that, so it's good. Brilliant. Right. Well, thank you very much for coming. Um, Again, good luck for the upcoming plays and stuff like that. Term is you got your night. tickets yet? Uh, no, I'll be doing that. <laughs> I've been a little, I've been working extra hours a lot lately, so we'll talk in a second. Centerpointtheater.ca. Yeah, there we go. Tell him that, and the tickets are up on sale now. Yeah, they are right. indeed. And the first show is. So the first show is Annie, which is the second weekend in December, seventh to the tenth. The second show is our After Dark show, which is uh, Rocky Horror Rocky Picture Horror, Show. Horror, oh. No, Rocky Horror Show. No Rocky picture. Horror Show, sorry. Rocky it's show. live. There is no picture. Uh -huh. um, that's in February. And then the weekend after the Victoria Day weekend is James and the Giant Peach, which is going to be delightful, if I do say so myself. Well, sir, are you choreographing that one? I'm directing, directing that directing. one. Directing, ah, very good. All yeah. right. So there's something to look forward to, gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> what? And there's still. She's the, I think she's the only lady that, still, that listens to watch the podcast. There's still lots of tickets left for the <laughs> Rocky Horror Show, and there's lots of tickets left for James. Not for me, not for any. We're selling Annie pretty That's quickly. That's good. That's what you want to hear. It's yeah. it's you know it's it's a really great, it's a famous show, mm -hmm. and it's very much the Christmas show. Yes. So, yeah, people are taking their family to go see it. Good. And while you're on the center point site, there's also Herald of Angels in January. That's right, there is Herald of Angels oh, no. in January. Both oh, it's really? It's not Suzark, but, but it's, it's... Oh, congratulations. Yeah, it's... So, we'll say, uh... Cheers, cheers. And cheers. And thanks for having us. No problem. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Oh,